Now, as we near spring bloom, it's time to be on the lookout for a familiar pest. I feel nasty. I feel like I need a shower just walking out to my car and back. That was last spring when 13 on your side spoke to a New Wago County family infested with spongy moss ooh, during caterpillar <laughs> phase. Now, Blake Hansen is here to talk to people a little bit about this pest and how West Michigan can prepare. And Sam, this has been a pest that we have been dealing with in Michigan for several decades. The spongy moth, previously known as the gypsy moth, has been an invasive species in Michigan for over 40 years, primarily target, targeting, targeting areas with a high oak tree tree population, the spongy moth can wreak havoc on our trees. Now through the end of April, so right now, the moth is in the egg phase of its life cycle, meaning it's the perfect time to look for egg masses on tree trunks and limit its spread. Egg masses are light brown, sponge-like in appearance, and only roughly the size of a quarter. Michael Phillip, Director of Pesticide and Plant Pest Management for the Michigan Department of Agricultural and Rural Development, explains what to do if you find an egg mass. Anywhere where you can reach the egg mass, scrape it off. Soapy water kills things pretty quickly, but you can just scrape it off and throw it in the garbage and uh, take it away. You, I mean, there will be many more egg masses high up in the tree that you can't reach, but the more damage you do, the better off you're going to be. Towards the end of April into May, the spongy moth enters its larva or caterpillar phase. This is when trees are most susceptible to defoliation. Some slight positive news is that trees typically withstand the spongy moth, even if all its leaves are eaten. The moth is also cyclical, meaning its impact will subside as its life cycle also ends. But however, as an invasive species that we deal, deal with year in and year out, we want to limit the spread of the moth which has seen its population on the rise in West Michigan over the past several years.